This is the iMac 21.5 inch late 2009, a 15 year old iMac that I intend to bring into this day and age. The current specifications of this iMac are 3.06 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo processor, 4 GB of DDR3 memory, 500 GB of HDD storage, NVIDIA GeForce 9400 256MB graphics and running Mac OS High Sierra 10.13.6. In this video, I will be upgrading this 15 year old iMac to 16GB of DDR3 memory and 256GB of SSD storage. This is done in a bit to improve the response time of this iMac. When I eventually get to upgrade it to the latest Mac OS Sequoia 15.0 using OpenCore Legacy Patcher. I shut down the iMac and disconnect the mouse, keyboard and the power cable. And I lay the iMac face down on a soft flat surface. I get a Phillips screwdriver and unscrew the three screws holding the RAM compartment cover. These screws remain attached to the compartment cover, so I don't need to worry about them falling off. I have here the DDR3 RAM models that I will be putting into the iMac. Each one of them is 4GB in size. To remove the RAM models that were originally installed in the iMac, I simply take out this flap and pull gently but firmly to eject them from the RAM slots. To put in the replacement modules, I align them in the slots and press firmly till it snaps in place. When all the modules have been installed, I replace the flap and the compartment cover. I replace the power cable, the mouse and the keyboard and I power it on to test it out. It all works very well and the iMac now has 16 gigabytes of DDR3 memory as seen here. Next I proceed to upgrade the storage. I power off the iMac once more, disconnect the power cable, the keyboard and the mouse and I lay the iMac face up on a flat surface. I put on a pair of gloves to keep fingerprint stains off the screen. I make use of a single suction cup to lift the outer glass screen of the iMac which is held down by magnets. Next I proceed to use a T10 screw bit to unscrew the 8 screws holding down the screen panel to the iMac. Once done, I gently lift the screen panel and proceed to detach 4 connectors that connect the screen panel to the board. The first connector needs to be pulled gently or wiggled out of its connection port. The second connector has a clip that can be pressed to release the connector and take it off. The third and fourth connectors are located on the other side of the iMac close to the hard disk drive. The third connector has clips on the sides that need to be pressed to release the connector and take it off as demonstrated here. The fourth connector needs to be pulled gently or wiggled out of its connection port. When all four connectors have been taken off, I place the screen panel in a safe place and proceed to blow out the dust that has gathered in this iMac. When this has been done, I proceed to unscrew the hard disk drive using the T10 screw bit 
and detach its connectors. The hard disk drive has a connector which I will not be needing when connecting the SSD. I tie this connector and put it safely aside. I will be using this SSD holder to hold my SSD in place. I attach the SSD to its connectors and use the SSD holder to hold the SSD in place. When I feel satisfied with the placement of the SSD in the iMac, I proceed to reattach the four screen panel connectors. When all four connectors are attached, I replaced the 8 screws that hold the panel down to the iMac. I had to use a pair of pliers to aid me in this task since the strong magnets kept snatching my screws. When all screws have been replaced, I cleaned the screen panel and the glass screen to get rid of any smudges or dust particles and I proceed to replace the outer glass screen. Next, I reattach the power cable and the keyboard and the mouse, and the iMac is now ready for a fresh Mac OS installation. If you are interested in watching how this can be carried out for Mac OS High Sierra or Mac OS Monterey, using open core legacy patcher kindly check in the video description thanks for watching and have an awesome day bye for now